video, we're going to be using Microsil to lift a latent print that's been developed with black powder from an irregular surface. Sometimes when you're in the field, it's hard to lift certain fingerprints with regular lift tape because of whatever the material is that they're found on. So we're going to go ahead and dust this irregular surface for fingerprints. Now that we've developed that latent print, we'll go ahead and mix up our microsil. Microsil is a casting material. It can be used for a number of applications. And what I like to do is mix up the microsil on the back of the fingerprint card. It's handy. Now as far as amounts go, when you're mixing microsil, it's two equal lines lengthwise of each material. So that was the microsil compound. And then this is the hardener. There'll be different widths, that's fine. It's the length that you want to worry about. And then we'll use a tongue depressor to mix these two together. Now when you're mixing, you want to make sure that you mix this completely and how you'll know that happens is when all of this blue disappears. And you want to do this fairly quickly because from the moment you start mixing, it starts to harden. I'll just go ahead and make sure that this is fully incorporated. And as soon as it is, you want to immediately pick up your material and cover your developed print with it. Making a nice, somewhat even application there. And this is gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes to completely harden. So you just leave it alone and we'll show you how to lift it. Now that our microcell is fully hardened on our irregular surface, we can go ahead and peel it off. And all you wanna do is just work from one edge Get yourself a good starting point and peel it away. For further information on fingerprinting and crime scene investigation techniques, please visit our website at the Crime Scene Investigator Network. Thank you.